good morning friends in this lecture i am going to solve property on del applied twice to point function let us see the property students our students del applied to twice to point function prove that div curl f bar that is equal to 0 students div curl f bar that is equal to 0 solution take lh students lhs what is lh students div curl f bar that is equal to div means students div means del dot del dot curl f bar students del cross f bar what students del cross f bar we know students del dot f bar can be written as sigma i bar dot dou f bar by dou x students once again students del dot f bar that is equal to sigma i bar dot dou f bar by dou x okay now in f bar place we have students del cross f bar students so that is equal to come on tell me students sigma i bar dot i bar dot dou by dou x of in place of f bar we have students here del cross f bar what students del cross f bar that is equal to sigma i bar dot dou by dou x of dou by dou x of we know del cross f bar students del cross f bar what is del, del cross f bar formula students i bar cross dou f bar by dou x plus j bar cross dou f bar by dou y plus k bar cross dou f bar by dou z dou f bar by dou z that is equal to sigma i bar dot i bar dot now we differentiate partially with respect to x students so we get here i bar cross i bar cross dou by dou x of dou f bar by dou x students we get here dou square f bar by dou x square plus j bar cross dou by dou x of dou f bar by dou y students dou square f bar by dou x dou y plus k bar cross dou by dou x of dou f bar by dou y students so dou square f bar by dou x dou z bracket close bracket close that is equal to that is equal to now you su apply summation and i bar dot on each and every term students so we get here sigma i bar dot i bar dot i bar cross dou square f bar by dou x square plus sigma i bar dot or students i bar dot again j bar cross dou square f bar by dou x dou y plus sigma i bar dot k bar cross dou square f bar by dou x dou z dou x dou z that is equal to that is equal to now we have one formula students that is a bar dot of b bar cross c bar that is equal to it can be written as a bar cross b bar dot c bar students or students a bar dot of b bar cross c bar that is equal to a bar cross b bar dot c bar students dot c bar so that is equal to sigma come on tell me students it is like a bar dot b bar cross students so it can be written as i bar cross i bar dot dot what is c bar here students dou square f by dou x square so dou square f bar by dou x square plus here students sigma i bar cross j bar dot dot dou square f bar by dou x dou y plus sigma i bar cross k bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou z that is equal to we know students i bar cross i bar value 
zero students so this value is zero now we know i bar cross j bar value students k bar okay students so we get here sigma k bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou y dou x dou y plus sigma see students here if i have k bar cross i bar the value is one students sorry this value is uh, uh, j bar j bar but here we have students i bar cross k bar students so this value becomes minus j bar minus j bar so we get here minus j bar dot j bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou z dou x dou z that is equal to that is equal to see students whenever it is k k means we get here students dou by dou z students so he, here we have dou square f bar by dou x dou y so i want to write here k bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou y plus if i write uh, what is next term students what is order i bar j bar k bar we have k bar here and then what is immediately it comes students i bar so i want to write i bar dot now this time we get students dou square f bar by i means dou by dou x so we exclude dou x students so we get here dou y dou z plus similarly j bar dot students dou square f bar by dou x dou z dou x dou z minus minus j bar dot j bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou z same students j means dou by dou y here we have x z students right now the next term students k bar so i can write here minus k bar now you delete j students we get here dou square f bar by dou x dou y minus minus i students so i bar dot students dot dot dou square f bar by i can guess now students dou y dou z dou by dou z so that is equal to see students say k bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou y plus term k bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou y minus term students cancel now i bar dot dou square f bar by dou y dou z minus i bar dot dou square f bar by dou y so both are the same students so i will become zero so j bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou z minus j bar dot dou square f by dou x dou z cancel students so finally get here zero zero so this is equal to r h s r h s once again students here we have to knowledge here del dot f bar can be written as sigma i bar dot do f bar by do x uh, already explained in the divergence concept students you can watch that video okay students it is very very important students del dot f bar that is equal to sigma i bar dot do f bar by do x now he given students div curl f bar div means del dot curl f bar means del cross f bar now del dot it is say it is f bar students it's like f bar okay so, so that i can write here i bar dot do by do x of del cross f bar then i expand del cross f bar students i know the formula so i write the formula here now here we have do by do x students so simply differentiate with respect to x now apply summation on each i bar dot on each and every term students okay thereby apply a bar dot b bar cross c bar that is equal to a bar cross b bar dot c bar formula students so that i get here i bar cross i bar dot dou square f bar by dou x square plus i bar cross j bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou y plus sigma i bar cross k bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou z you know i bar cross i bar value j bar cross j bar value and k bar cross k bar value zero students so this value zero i bar i bar cross j bar means k bar students so k bar dot dou square f bar by dou x dou y plus i bar cross k bar when it is uh, k bar cross i bar it is j bar students i bar cross k bar means minus j bar 
so minus j bar dot dot square of power by dot x dot z here it is important students whenever you expand the summation you have to remember the order students order what is order students i j k suppose if we have k here what is immediate term students i and then j students so k bar dot the value okay i bar dot and then j bar dot that value okay students now we have j students so j j and then immediate term is k students k and then i students so i bar dot the value the order is very very important students whenever you expand the summation okay by observing plus or minus plus and minus terms are cancel here finally get zero hope you understand students please subscribe this channel like this video share this video students jai hind